If you've watched the second season of Fargo, you've probably got mixed feelings about that thing. And if you haven't, I highly recommend you do because it's easily some of the best work on television. But before I get into it, let this be an official spoiler warning. I don't want to ruin it for anyone, so if you're even planning on watching the show, maybe save this video for later. Okay, so we've finally arrived at the Massacre of Sioux Falls, which the show has been teasing us with for two seasons, and in the middle of it all... Okay then. I personally enjoy this sequence. The combination of true crime and sci-fi genres doesn't really bother me. At the very least, it's something different. And if it works, it works. But what exactly is the presence of aliens trying to suggest? And is it successful in doing so? Well, I believe the scene makes two points, both of which comment on an inherent violence in human nature, which has always been a central theme to the Fargo brand. But before I jump in, let me mention that the scene wasn't exactly thrown in there. Not only has the show been blatantly foreshadowing it throughout the entire second season, but it was even alluded to in the first. Yeah, I saw something that year. I ain't ever seen before or since. First off, it seems to argue that even in the presence of something as incredible as an actual alien encounter, even when the answer to one of humanity's most intriguing and daring questions is put on in full display, violence will continue. It's a pessimistic point of view, but it's not something we haven't seen before. We also see this argued in Alfonso Caron's Children of Men when, spoiler alert, the firefight continues despite the presence of humanity's only baby. It's an interesting question, would the discovery of something as incredible as alien life, or perhaps the last human life, be enough to bring peace to an otherwise violent species? That brings us to our second point. The scene also seems to suggest the judgment of human civilization by spacefaring ones. Consider Mike Milligan's ideas regarding the definition of revolution in reference to his own violent war with the Gernhards. Ironically, in astronomy, the word revolution means a celestial object that comes full circle. Did you know that? Which, if you think about it, is pretty funny. Considering here on Earth, it means change. Milligan suggests that revolution is somewhat of a contradiction. The term so often evokes the works of Delacroix or Leutz, but to Milligan, it's better captured in that of Kuzinski. From an astronomical perspective, is there a purpose to revolution when it so often leaves us back where we started? And this idea of humanity being inspected by otherworldly beings isn't an uncommon topic in the sci-fi genre. We even see it discussed in Rick and Morty in South How Park. How stupid is your species? Space jail? Baby Fark McGee's axe? It was the trick? What would these beings think of us if they were watching right now? How would they feel about the existence of violence in an otherwise advanced civilization? And Fargo is all about this violence, existing even in a society known for the Fargo nice. We're very friendly people. No, that's not it. Pretty unfriendly, actually. But it's the way you're unfriendly. How oh, you're so polite about it. And what better way to expose it than testing its endurance through an incredible revelation? Aliens are so often represented as this terrifying cliche of monstrous invaders, but what is perhaps even more terrifying is the idea that we're the monsters, and that spacefaring civilizations don't want anything to do with us. Also, it's fitting that the language of peace looks anything but human. Conflict, war, does, doesn't it all come down to the language, right? the, the words we say and the words we hear, which aren't always the same thing. So I thought, you know, what if there was one language? But hey, maybe that's okay. The galaxy be subjected to an entire planet of people like you. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
You act out the same cycles of self-destruction again and again. At this point, your planet is the least civilized in the entire galaxy. What did he say? Say we're a bunch of fuck-ups. Hey! It is our basic human right to be fuck-ups! This civilization was founded on fuck-ups, and you know what? That makes me proud. Yeah, I need